So in this video, we're going to go over shooting in the soccer game. Um, so it's fairly, fairly simple. Um, see this yellow sphere right here. That is the shot target. That's what we'll place in the middle of our goals whenever we get to creating them. And so if we go over here and grab the ball, we can see if we just tap B, shoot it shoots it and it aims at the shot target but if you notice if you press and hold b he's not going to shoot it he's going to shoot it after 0.75 seconds if you were to continue holding it down and what this does is build up it builds up the power as you're holding it down and you can aim the shot target um, as you're holding it down so I'm gonna do it really quick. You can see the shot target move left to right before I shoot. All right, so let's see how we've got that set up. So here in our shooting script is on each one of our players, by the way, I'm not sure if I already said that. Um, the We've got the shot force and we've got a reference to the player script. Um, we've got something here to reset the shot force, uh, and we've got a shot timer. So in our awake, we just initialize the player and we set the reset shot force just to the starting shot force. Just that way we can reset it later. And then in our update, we're, we are saying if you have possession and it's a user controlled player and you press the shoot button, you're pressing the shoot button notice it's not get button down or get button up uh, then we're going to start to aim the target aim the target is pretty simple we've just got let me move this down one i don't know it needs to be up here sorry um shot target uh, we're, we're just getting a reference to the shot target, which we can find by going to our player reference and the team and then shot target. Um, so we're, the first thing we do is just, we just translate it up as we're holding down the shoot button, the shot target begins to move upward. Uh, we times that by time Delta time, and then just by 20, you play around with that value a little bit to tweak it. Obviously, the smaller the number, the slower the shot target is going to move up. Um, and then we're just getting a reference to our horizontal input so we can use it down here. Uh, then here we're just saying if the X input is not zero, if there is any, if there is any horizontal input whatsoever, then we are going to translate this shot target on the shot targets right vector um this transform right basically by the x input by the horizontal input and we can tell is we want to transform it we want to move it on its right by if we go into the scene and click on the shot target this red arrow that is the transform right and so when we're looking at looking at it going this way we want to move it on this uh axes so that covers the aim shot target we also start the shot timer so we can uh use it down here when it, to do a check to see if the shot timer is past 0.75 seconds that means if we've just held down the b button we don't want the player to just be able to hold it down forever uh, so we, we, we want to end it at some, at some threshold. So 0.75, um, is that, uh, shot force. Yeah. So we also increase the shot force. You can play around with this value. You could even create another variable up here and serialize it and mess around with it. Name it something like shot acceleration um if player has possession and so basically the same thing but instead of holding down the shoot button let's say they've let go of the shoot button get button up then we shoot the ball 
then we down here in shoot ball we just get a direction of the difference between the shot target and the ball's position and we normalize it and then we unfreeze all the constraints unparent the ball and then add force in this direction up here times the shot force force mode impulse and we've of course we've got to say the player no longer has possession and then after we do shoot ball we got shot force we reset the we reset the shot force of what it was in the beginning shot timers back to zero and the shot target we are going to reset its position so if we look at the shot target script really quick that's literally all it is is just basically one a tag i like to use scripts instead of tags um, just because i just i think it's easier to work with and i'm less likely to pull my hair out trying to figure out why something isn't working and then it ends up being a stupid tag um anyways uh the sorry it's late and i am a little anyways anyways uh yeah that's literally all this is is one a tag and then two it's just this has got something to reset its position so that is it as how i've got shooting working in my soccer game at the moment very simple but it gets the job done and yep until next time